Hi, I'm John Jacobson. I'm at Gulf Coast Ultrasound Institute, and your hot tip for today is looking at the supraspinatus and infraspinatus anatomy, ensuring an adequate evaluation. Okay, so to look at the supraspinatus and infraspinatus, I tend to put the patient in what's called the modified crass or Middleton position with the hand on the hip. Make sure the elbow is pointing back so it's not too much internal rotation. So I'll place the transducer on the front of the shoulder, pointing at the patient's ear. This will give me a long axis view of the supraspinatus. I'll then move anterior and medial to find the biceps tendon. And when I see the biceps tendon, which is right here, I will turn the transducer to make sure that I'm in the long axis plane. That will define the plane as I move more posterior toward the infraspinatus. Now anteriorly, when we have a well-defined angle between the greater tuberosity and the humeral head, this is the superior facet. Therefore, I know that this is the supraspinatus. As I move more posterior, you'll see the bone contour flatten out. That will tell me that this is now the middle facet, which is where we see the supraspinatus attaching here and the overlap of the infraspinatus shown here. It has a flattened appearance, and you can see these hypochoic striations. That tells me that this is the infraspinatus on top of the supraspinatus at the overlap area. The last point is that when I'm looking in short axis, I want to make sure I move anterior enough to see the biceps tendon in the rotator interval to ensure an anterior evaluation that is comprehensive. So that's your hot tip for today. Now you give it a try.